my party people first thing and i'm going to repeat this for those of you who have been getting nervous start with the question sentence we're not going to start with the if the plane what no if is just telling you information that might or might not be related to finding the answer typically when they say if it is related but they're not telling you what to look for there they're not telling you what the goal is they start telling you what the goal is always with who what when where how many which of the following right there that's what we're looking for <laughs> all right so with that said here we go how far above sea level is the runway so my party people my party people does this immediately tell you what it is that we're looking for does that immediately tell you what you're looking for or do you think that we need to actually read some more of the question to get some more context right we got to read into this just a little more and that's okay that is okay because remember everybody all the information you need is in here all the information you need is in here no need to get nervous no need to start grasping for ideas now formulas ideas no need for that no need for that we read the question and it said hey how far above sea level is the runway cool i know i'm trying to figure out this runway situation i want to know feet so basically a distance for some runway I don't really know what's going on though. What are we doing with this runway? Come on, planes, talking about something else. What are we looking at? But let's see. Since we're looking for how, how far above, we can say right over here runway equals blank feet above sea level. Like, I don't know what that means yet. I really have no clue. I'm pretending at least. I have no clue what this means. But let's see where the information takes us. And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. We want to know where this runway is, how far up it is. Sounds good. Let's read. A plane begins its final descent at a rate, ooh, right there, already see the word rate, of 290 feet per minute over the next 38 minutes to reach the runway. My part of people, that's clearly a rate. They say rate, but what is this immediately after? It says, this is the rate over this much what? Over this much what? Here is our rate over this much time. So boom, in this question, you see that you're immediately given a rate and a time, which is awesome because again, distance equals rate times time. You multiply rates and times. We're good. So at some point, we know that we will probably need to multiply those, but don't make any assumptions. We all know how to spell assume. You make an ASS out of you and me. So don't assume anything, okay? But know that if we were going to go the DRT route, well, if we wanted to find the distance that this plane ascended or descended, we could do the rate and the time together. We could. Keep that in the back of your head. Keep it moving, though. Then it says... If the plane was this many feet above sea level at the beginning of the approach, how far above sea level is the runway? So now I have a better picture, everyone, and you tell me if this works out for you too. We have this plane that's beginning its final descent, so it's trying to land. It starts here. It goes down at a rate of 290 per minute for 38 minutes. Then eventually we land on the runway, and we wanna know where this runway is in terms of altitude or its height uh, above sea level. Does that make any more sense than it did before? We have this plane that was up here. It was, uh, what is that, 17,100 feet. All this rate and time happens, and then we land here. We wanna know where this is. So if that makes sense to you visually and intuitively, now we can proceed to getting the answer. We have the rate and the time. Let's write this over here. 
distance equals my rate and my time. And we can repeat this right over here and fill it in where we have the 290. And then the time is going to be 38 minutes. Now let's, before we continue, let's understand what that's going to bring us, what that's going to mean. If we calculate the rate times the time, what that's going to give us, it's going to give us the in-between. We know where the plane started. We're trying to find out where it ended up, but we're, we have enough information to figure out the in-between. So my party people, what do you think we should be doing with this value, that distance that we're about to calculate? What should we do with that once we get that number? This is where we get better at word problems, understanding what that number is going to mean. What should we do with the number after it's calculated to get the final answer? Who knows? What should we do with that value? After we do that big old multiplication, what needs to be done? Some people are saying add. Some people are saying divide. More divide, more add, subtraction, add, subtract. Subtract. Okay, so let's think about it. So these are not don't don't worry about apologizing, man. Do your best. You're good. So let's think about it here. Think about it. If we're way up here in the beginning, and this distance rate time, this time you know rate times time right over there, that's going to give us the in between, and we're trying to get down here. Well, it looks like we start with where we started off at the seventeen one hundred right up here. In case you didn't see it right there we'll take that we subtract all of this to see where we ended up and notice that it says it's a final descent the plane's going down so we started here the distance that we find is what we're going down by to end up here does that make a little more sense does that make a little more sense again the word final or the phrase final descent that will definitely hint that we are going down and we're subtracting. Great. Now that we know what the general game plan is, now we can feel confident to go ahead and calculate and do our best. Here we go. 290 multiplied by 38. Let's get this done here. 290 by 38. And again, as always, trust your gut. With the practice that you've done, trust it. And if you make mistakes, then take steps to correct it. 0 times 8, 9 times 8 is 72, 2 times 8 is 16, carry the 7 is 23. Next line, so that way we can take care of the 3. So here we go. We have 0 times 3, 9 times 3 is 27, 2 times 3 is 6, carry the 2 is 8, add this back up, 0, 2, 10, and 11. Boom. So this is going to be 11,020 feet. So that's what that distance means here. This was a distance of 11,020 feet. And basically, this tells us, again, the descent. This is the descent. The plane started at 17,100. It goes down by 11,020. We end up somewhere else. And so that's why we'll subtract, because we started off again, 17,100. That's our start. We will subtract 11,020 because that represents the descent, how much we went down by, and then we'll find our landing spot or our landing altitude by subtracting. And so here we go. Zero minus zero gives us zero. Zero minus two can't happen, so we'll treat that as 10 minus two, which is eight. Then we have seven minus one is six, and then boom. So we have 6,080 feet. That is our final altitude. That is the final altitude uh, in feet above sea level. So this is 6,080 feet above sea level. And before you go, I want you to mark your calendars for the next free class. If you haven't been to one of my classes already, I'd love to have you in there and helping you raise your score. So all you have to do is text, hey, when's the next free class? to our automated line, 833-321-0182, and you'll get a reply very quickly about the information for the next class, including the link. 
So, my poor people, I'll see you in the next free class. Sign up, show up, and let's taste the ass, man.